Assalamu alaikum and greetings to all my viewers. I am Iskandar and I will be presenting to you on aircraft's turnaround time towards aircraft operations. To increase productivity, it is an airline's interest to minimize the turnaround time of its aircraft. But do you know what turnaround time is? Airline turnaround time is defined as the time required to unload an airplane after its arrival at the gate and to prepare it for its departure again. In today's era of exorbitant airport charges and rising fuel charges levied across the world, it becomes important for airline companies to come up with ways to cut back cost. Since there is very little control over fuel cost, one of the ways airline companies can cut back costs without compromising quality is by reducing turnaround time. In order to cut costs and increase performance, airlines work constantly on reducing turnaround times as these smaller and larger adaptations can be seen as important process of innovations and they are very crucial for competitiveness. In the absence of such measures, some companies find themselves in situations where they end up with very low profits or with very high losses. Airline turnaround time has hence become a very important and key parameter in determining the profitability of an airline company. Such situations can lead to a lot of undesirable consequences as it has a direct impact on the survival of the organization due to a series of payment crises one after another. The well-known turnaround time of low-cost airline aircraft is usually about 30 minutes on short-haul flights as against about one hour for a traditional company. Meanwhile, for long-haul aircraft, the turnaround time is obviously longer. There are more passengers and there are more catering supplies and baggage to load. In addition, the aircraft are bigger, hence they require more fuel and cabin cleaning time. For example, Air France, the minimum turnaround time for a Boeing 777 or an A380 is two and a half hours. This study tries to explain the application of process of ongoing improvement. The basic approach of theory of constraint to improve the turnaround time of an airline. Optimizing airplane utilization, which includes efficient airplane turnaround time at the gates, can help an airline maximize the large capital investment it has made in its airplanes. Efficient airplane utilization requires close coordination among an airline's own fleet planning, schedule planning, passenger reservations, flight operations, ground operation, and airplane maintenance systems, as well as coordination with the air traffic and airport authorities. Even a small reduction in turnaround time at the gates can produce impressive benefits, particularly for short-haul carriers. Airplane utilization and turnaround time models provide useful information for scheduled planning, fleet planning, operation planning, and economic and financial analysis. For example, using the utilization model for a point-to-point -point carrier with an average turn time of 40 minutes gives an estimated utilization level of 2,304 trips per year. Reducing the average turnaround time by just 10 minutes from 40 to 30 minutes improves the utilization level to 2,491 trips per year, an increase of 8.1%. The efficiency can enable a carrier to reduce the number of airplanes it needs to have in its fleet to make an equal number of trips. A quick turnaround time is so important and employee performance is so pivotal that American Airlines has adopted an incentive program. If American Airlines ranks higher than its competitors in three key on-time categories, all 130,000 employees get 150 US dollars each as an incentive to their performance. As for the future, operators who would like to take advantage of the cost savings and efficiencies of increased airplane utilization may want to start by educating their workforces about the positive effects of reducing turnaround times. The expectation of air transportation services would be higher in the future. In order to hit that target, 
Advancements in various aspects is very crucial and it does not only shorten the aircraft turnaround time but also the other sectors as a whole. For example, the airline may explain that saving 10 minutes on 2,000 trips per year means an additional of 20,000 minutes available for additional flights. More flights means more paying passengers and ultimately more revenue.